guys, so this is the actual last Halloween haul. <laughs> I caught you all, thought you thought the last one was the last one. I did say probably. To be fair, I bought all of these bits last week, apart from the crystals, and uh, they were in the sale. So I went into it's mostly home sense again because everywhere else has been poor this year, pretty much. Um, there is a couple of things that are not from there, but generally speaking, it's been home sense. And they had this sale on, and there were things I hadn't seen, and they were half price, and I was like sold. However, I did grab a couple of crystals, so we will start with that. Um, they are all wrapped up, but I will. Oh, that's a, that's a noise. That was gorgeous. <laughs> right, where's the one that's one for me though? Because there is that one is not for me. That one is a gift. So, right, there are three crystals to start with. So the first thing is a little bit more peacock ore. Um, this one is a beautiful turquoise blue. I'm not going to go through all the minions because there's quite a few bits to get through. So uh, I got some of that and click and click. <laughs> uh, this is a quartz with chloride inflections. Uh, generator piece which I just I really enjoyed the the look of it um, and the kind of the green wasn't overly I'm a bit weird about green crystals but this one was nice there's a good line of light through it's almost turquoisey um, so I thought I would try it in a generator grid so there's that one and the final one for me because there's a couple in there that are not for me, so we will not be showing them, is a fire and ice quartz. Again, it's kind of wonderful for a generator. Hopefully you can see the... There we go. So that's the three crystals. I also got some aniseed balls um, for my ancestry altar, which I've actually shared on the pagan YouTube challenge video, but there you go. Hello! <laughs> Delicious. Mm. They were my grandma's favourites, so one of her favourites anyway. And I also picked up an art print. I picked up two, but I don't know where I put the other one. The other one has a fox on. Um, um, picked up an art print from Dance de Lune. Uh, Dance de Lune on Etsy and I thought this was perfect for Samhain it's like going to go in as on here on the uh, Samhain ritual space along with uh, the beautiful moth that Molly sent me so this is the art print and you can see there are beautiful moths and all the beautiful colours there's a really wonderful as above so below theme going on it kind of feels like otherworldly and then you kind of have the array going around so you kind of have like a spring motif here and then an autumnal motif here so and it's kind of in a cave it kind of has this as above so below it kind of has all the moths from babe we actually have an owl there in the corner barn owl as well two barn owls which are my favorite i love barn owls and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and um I was in love with it and I was like I need that imagery as part of my Samhain set up here so I grabbed that okay dokey and then I actually ordered from the Poundland um, and two of the things I ordered didn't come didn't come and I need to basically chase them up some more because I have not heard anything about it. The one thing that did come is this year's Halloween sign um, which is now a companion to the one that the gorgeous Miss an English witch one sent me and this is this year's little uh, coffin sign with the headless horseman ye oldy headless horseman dead and breakfast <laughs> basically I need a town where these are all real places and I can just go live there because the dead and breakfast and the Salem broomstick bars and things I would I would never leave I think that's amazing okay and then they had some of these these are uh, pumpkin candles and they're kind of like totem candles. They remind me, the uh, Dark Town Sally has a pumpkin totem uh, print and they reminded me of those. So th they were originally 4 dollars so they were half price so they were 2 dollars And uh, I just 
I love them. And I hadn't actually seen these. I'd seen the ghost ones, so I now have four, which means I can make like an altar. Uh, I can, if I so desire, you know, on the on an altar, I can have the four around the outside. Right, that one and that one. Oh right, yes. And then uh, these were half price for one fifty, and they are little wooden decals. And then I got this. These are table mats with little skulls on them, aren't they cool? They were five pounds, and there are four of them. I will probably use those not as placemats, but as uh, to do with altar spaces and things. And then last but not least was a table runner with crows on. And this was five pounds as well, yeah. So this is huge, huge, lots of fabric with the crows on. I just absolutely adore it. And it was all in the sale. So this is just a little fun Halloween haul just to finish up uh, the year. And uh, that's it for this particular video. That's it for Halloween hauls this year. The fabrics are gorgeous. I love them. But I thought I would just show you those guys, show you those for you guys as a kind of a last thing. And uh, that's it for Halloween hauls this year. It's a little bit of a fun video, yeah? Many blessings.